G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you a My Maps tutorial. As you can see right behind me here, all of this stuff here, this is a mind map. So the way I've been able to do and drop all of these pins across the lovely state of Florida is by utilizing a My Map. So My Maps are quite handy if you're perhaps planning events or especially in my neck of the woods SEO. They used to be very, very powerful, not so much anymore, but they can be great at marking your business locations. They can be fantastic, like I said before, about planning routes and, and destinations that you want to do. So I'm going to show you how you could do this in your state. You could lay everywhere, every county, every single city, every zip code. I've got an entire list, so let's jump into it. So in this My Map tutorial, you have access to this list. Now, this is the entire list of every single US zip code, okay? Now, if you're not based in the US, one thing that I would suggest is just Google, like as an example, when I work with people back in Australia, I have to know the Australian zip codes or postcodes in Australia. Same in the UK, apparently it's called postcodes there. So depending upon where you are in the world, you're gonna have to utilize something different. But if you're in the States, if you're working predominantly, predominantly with uh, US businesses, then this will be uh, completely fine. This will suffice. So as you can see, this has every single zip. Well, let me freeze this bad boy uh, so you can see it. Uh, freeze. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Like Check that out. As you can see, like look at all of it. It's got absolutely all of it, and you saw it all here. So in this My Maps tutorial, I'll show you how to do this. So let's get rid of that one. Now, let's say you're in the state. Let's not do Florida again. Let's do some, Let's do somewhere different. What do we want to do? Let's do Alaska. Why not? Gorgeous Alaska. All right. So all you want to do when you're creating a My Map, okay, you'll need this. Now, you can either go on and type in US postcodes. You can do it that way or there'll be a link to this video down below. You can go and actually get all of this information for free. I'll just have a link off to it. Click on that and you'll be able to go and get it. Uh, that way you'll have access to this entire spreadsheet. So work's done for you. I've cleaned it all up, made it so it's just got the necessary information. You don't need all the other stuff that was there. So let's do Alaska. All right, so filter it out. Now what you can do, as you can see company over here, because like I said, I, I use this for SEO. My lovely wife might utilize it for you know planning our trips, but I use it obviously for SEO. So when it comes to this, let's just say Osborne Digital Marketing. There you go. So now I want to appear everywhere in Alaska. So I can drag that down and now that's going to show everywhere. Now you wanna have something in here. So like I said, in the example, Perhaps you are just trying to set up a couple of areas. You can go through and just have it. If it's only these areas that you want to target, set it up that way. But I'm going to show you how to cover an entire state. All right. So now what you want to do, is we want to grab all of this, copy it. Let's go over here and let's open up a brand new. Actually, no, we'll be able to do it from right here. Yeah, there we go. Happy days. So open this up paste in that information. Come on, Google. There we go. It's making me nervous. All right, so as you can see, here we go. So here's all this information. So what you want to do is you want to save this as a CSV, okay? So you're going to need to export this as a CSV for, uh, this here and then downloads CSV and obviously you can if you want you can just copy it transfer it across into a CSV to begin with but in this my maps tutorial we will just do it this way because it's very very easy so now what you want to do is you want to come into your uh, Google Drive you'll click on this button up here go more bada bing bada boom Google my maps click on that bad boy now this is going to bring up your My Maps, okay? So in this My Maps tutorial, I'll actually show you how to make it all um, how to make it all uh, good to go. 
with every location no we don't want florida we wanted uh it was alaska wasn't it we we're going after yeah it was alaska so yeah um what we what i'll show you to do is just lay the state now depending upon where you are it will depend on how many points you want dropped again it, it's it's entirely up to you so you hit this import button up here now this is going to ask for the csv drag this into here okay drag the csv into there <clears throat> come on google knows that it's two o'clock in the morning and just doesn't want to do it okay choose the columns positions your place you like that so this is where we're selecting what we want to be displayed so someone's clicking and everything on it that latin long so this is where you put the latin long i prefer the latin long as the drops uh so let's go that's a longitude and this one is the latitude okay let's go city and then that's it you finish then it'll come up with another one so here it is uh choose your column markers we'll go company Okay, so this is where it's going to start. Just it's going to drop them all. Oh, did I didn't hit Alaska? I must have hit Alabama. <laughs> My bad. Like I said, it's two o'clock in the morning, guys. So <laughs> cut, cut me a bit of slack. <laughs> um, so yeah, I must have hit Alabama. My bad. Um, well, here we are anyway. So as you can see, like it's dropped all of it mainly at the uh, county and city locations. So all the main sort of locations are, are going to be covered off. Now, you can have it drop however you want it to drop. Now, if you want this My Map live, so you want it live, you're going to have to go into Share, okay? Now, you're going to have to call it. So ODM Alabama, let's leave it as that. You can put in uh, ODM Locations Alabama. Done, okay. All right, so now it's going to pop up with this question. So do we want to make it live so everyone can see? So you're going to be like, anyone with this link can access it. And then you click on let others search for this in the maps. This makes it like basically live so other people can witness it. So you can obviously copy the link uh, for that or not. You can get out of it. Now, you'll be able, this is where you're going to be able to embed it on a website and everything like that. So export it as a KML so you can add it to the location sitemap so you can create a custom sitemap. Uh, but as an example, if you want to embed it, here's the code there. So if you want to put this on your website, and I will do another video on, on how to do that. So you've got it all here, but let's say in this My Map tutorial, you want to add a pin drop, you know. Let's say we want to, what do we want to do? We want to add one in J. So let's add one in J. All right, Alabama, South Alabama, no. Alabama, Bruton, Alabama, there you go. J Road, it's not giving us. Oh, didn't give us that J. I don't want J Road, I want J. Okay, so you can either drop your marker this way, which I don't like doing. So as you can see, like it gives you your lat and long when you drop the marker, but then you've got to go in and put everything else in here. But if it works for it, if it wants to work for us, I can show you. You can simply type in every location that you want. So perhaps you didn't want to utilize my postcode map, which after putting that together, you want to use, <laughs> there's a reason we have it. But if you want to go in and manually place in every single thing, uh, J, uh, what is the county or something that this is a part of? J, Alabama, J Road, not Alabama, J Florida. I don't want it to be in Florida. It's definitely not in Florida. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not, is it? Let me just check. Yeah, it's not. There's a border right there. Oh, no, it's not like in the town of Jay. So in this situation, like this is sometimes, and again, this is why I like doing this stuff because it's not all smooth sailing. As you can see, like there's a town I'm having problems with. I'll probably need to add it manually. But geez, let's, let's try and find something that's not marked. Like as an example, this, 
What is it? Sauerland. Uh, Sauerland. Sauerland, Alabama. Here we go. So there you go. Now, when you add it this way, you can click the add map. And as you can see, like it might even bring up a bit of a website. So it's just a little, there's always a little bit more information. Instead of dropping a pin, you actually enter it. So that's just something that I've found. You'll have more information that way. And then you can add it to your map. So you're going to have, it's going to pull in a little bit more data. Some of the things you'll still need to add, obviously, like the zip and all of that. But if there is any relevant information, sometimes it can be pulled in. So that's why I just prefer Googling it. It's so much easier. And then not only that, Google drops it where it thinks that location is. Very, very important because you want that because you want Google to tell you where something is, not you tell the Google where it is. So that's basically a My Maps tutorial. If you have any questions about My Maps, just ask me down below, more than happy to help. They're a great little thing for SEO. They're a great little thing to just, even as a deliverable to your client, it's pretty cool. It can, you can show them, visualize it, plan out where you want to drop pins, where you want to actually drop uh, location pages, set them, all of up, set them all up. It's really, really good, especially if you've got a big business. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up in the comments down below. If you liked it, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'll see you around. Cheers, guys.